Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Key to Disney. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. Do mainly Disney content with a sprinkle of Bath and Body Works. And that is exactly what we have in today's video. We have a Bath and Body Works outlet haul and a random kind of like collective haul of some of the new spring tropical collection that I use some free rewards on. But before we get into today's video, I did want to talk about Fetch really, really quickly. If you guys are new, Fetch is an app that you can download on the App Store and you take pictures of your receipts, even ones from Bath & Body Works, the grocery store, whatever receipts that you have, and you can earn points. And those points can be saved up to get gift cards to some of your favorite retailers like Bath & Body Works, TJ Maxx, and even Starbucks. And I've been using Fetch for so long. This isn't sponsored. I just like telling you guys about it because thanks to you guys signing up with my link down in the description below I have been able to get like over a hundred dollars worth of gift cards that I've been able to redeem for Bath & Body Works gift cards in order to bring you guys content so if you guys want like a free way to help out my channel and it'll help you out check out that link down in the description below and when you sign up using my code you will get bonus points when you scan your first receipt and I also get bonus points and it really helps me get gift cards to give you guys content like my purchase from the outlet was totally free because I had a gift card from Fetch from you guys signing up and supporting me so that is always linked down in the description below in case you are curious again thank you so much to everyone who has used that link to sign up and if you do sign up drop a comment down below and let me know that you signed up so i can thank you because i really appreciate it so so much but let's get into the video so unfortunately the outlets are closing and they're being phased out i don't know i don't think there's a timeline for when they're going to be phasing out so i will be probably going to the outlet every other week if not every week so i can bring you guys some content i don't know why i i've been twice in the past two weeks the first time i didn't buy anything i did take some footage but i don't know why i was feeling like super anxious and was not in the mood to like film or take pictures because I felt like people were staring at me even though honestly probably no one even noticed that I was filming I just felt really anxious so I did not film that much at the outlet um I did have some pictures I filmed a little bit and I do have some pictures so I'm going to insert those clips now Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the clips, even though there's not that many. That's probably like 20 seconds worth of clips, but the outlets have been okay. They've, they've been okay. In the past, I found really, really awesome stuff. I will say they had the train. I didn't take a picture of it because it was behind the counter and I didn't want to get like the employees in it, but they did have the little train. I'll try to find a picture from the internet to show you guys what the Bath & Body Works train is. It was 75% off, whatever price that would be. I didn't ask because I just don't have the space for it, but it was super, super cool to find. Well, we are gonna start out with the outlet finds and then we'll end it off with some of the spring newness slash tropical newness and give you guys some of my first thoughts because I haven't smelled any of them yet. I've had them for a while and I haven't smelled any of them yet because I wanted to wait to give my review to you guys. But we'll start out with the outlet. Again, I used my Fetch gift card, so this was free to me, but my total was $4.63 and I saved a total of $37.96. I got this bag of goodies for under $5, which is insane. That's the outlet for you. If you guys didn't know, I shop at the Pleasant Prairie Premium Outlets in Wisconsin. That's the outlet that I shop at. Okay, so this was from March 5th. I did have a 20% off coupon as well as like a free mini body care. So they had a ton of $2 body care. I got overwhelmed and didn't end up taking a picture or a video of the table, but I did buy something from the $2 body care table, which was a pretty awesome find because I don't think I've ever tried this scent, but I grabbed for just $2 
a coconut cream pie shower gel. This one has notes of toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. Do I need another shower gel? No, I don't. But it was a dollar and sixty cents, and they retail for thirteen fifty, which obviously way better than seventy five percent off. And I decided to try it since I've never tried it before. It's def it just smells like a coconut cream pie. That's what it smells like. I do think this is a good summer scent. Like it's it's giving a little tropical vibes and it's not like too gourmand where I don't like it. I actually really, really enjoy this and I kind of regret not grabbing a couple more. Oh, a $3 table. They had the Into the Night scrubs. Now this is the exfoliating glow body scrub. And if you watch my empties video, I'm not a huge fan of the exfoliating glow body scrubs because they're just not like they're they're not scrubby enough I don't know how else to say it they're just not oh, abrasive that's the word they're not as abrasive as I'd like them to be but it was on the three dollar table couldn't leave it behind this one has notes of raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk this is one of your deeper more perfumey fragrances this was on the three dollar table originally $17.95 and I got it for two dollars and forty cents with my coupon so I, I, I just could not leave that behind so there is that one more outlet find. I only bought three things at the outlet and then one was a little freebie. But the next thing I bought was a passion fruit and banana flower hand sanitizer. I don't have the scent notes, but that's pretty much the scent notes is the name. This is just a good tropical fragrance and it was 75% off. So it was 49 cents. And then with my 20% off, it ended up being at 39 cents. I will say the employees must be eager to get rid of these pocket bags. Because every single person that would check out, they'd be like, did you see our 75% off pocket bags? You want to grab a couple? They're only 49 cents, which I, I appreciate the hustle and wanting to get rid of them. But they were like all pumpkin. But I did grab one of the passion fruit and banana flowers. I do not need any more pocket bags, especially after you see some of my newness I'm going to share later in the video. But yeah, you can't go wrong with a tropical pocket bag for 49 cents. 39 cents actually with my discount. Okay, moving on to a not new scent, but I did get it because I love the packaging and I had a coupon update 95. I got the pink pineapple sunrise. Oh my gosh, so adorable. The cutie little toucan. Oh my God, so cute. I love the packaging. I don't know why they don't put the notes. There's plenty of room for the notes and it drives me nuts, but let's give her a smell. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, if I remember, I'll try to put the notes up on the screen for the scents that I don't have the notes for. This is so good. It's definitely a super, super fruity, just fresh pineapple. Mm, I love this. It's kind of like a candied pineapple, like a fresh candied pineapple. This scent is amazing. If it'll focus, I think it's focused, yeah. This scent is absolutely amazing and I'm loving the tropical um packaging a few years ago i think i don't remember how long ago it was we had this kind of ombre packaging this is just a hundred times better like let's be honest this is so much better than this let me know which packaging you guys prefer i like the more out there packaging this like ombre packaging was kind of boring but she's cute enough to go in my background so again this is the last thing that i got from the outlet He's a little mini of Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I will probably get it in a full size at some point, even though I already have one. I would love Pink Pineapple Sunrise in a shower gel or bar soap. I'm pretty sure they have the bar soap and I almost bought it with my coupon, but I didn't know if it worked. So I just got the body mist. Okay, so this day I spent six dollars and 90 cents out of pocket actually my boyfriend bought it so my boyfriend spent six dollars and 90 cents i got my hands on some of the new pocket bags which are so good so yummy and i did have a 20 percent off and yes i wasted a 20 percent off just to get some five for eight dollar pocket bags because i it was burning a hole in my pocket and i i didn't want it to go to waste and i was waiting for a good sale and there just wasn't a sale that i was interested in because i really don't need candles there was a super good candle sale with the 20 percent off but i didn't need candles so i decided to use it on it some of the new pocket bags so yeah they were five for eight which I don't know what that discount is, but they ended up being a dollar twenty-eight a piece, so pretty close to that dollar sale that they usually do. So we'll go through the new pocket bags first, and then I got a couple of little freebies. I had a free reward and then a mailer coupon. So there's this line. 
looks like this. I only got three of them, but I did get three from this line. So the first one I grabbed is Peony in Basil. I just love the simplistic packaging and it doesn't have like those like blue beads in it, which I found interesting. I'm going to try to smell these, but a lot of the times they, they just smell like the alcohol at first. Ooh, this is good. I'm not getting much of like the basil, like the earthy basil note, but I am getting like a peony. Mmm, that's yummy. That's really good. And I actually, I love the packaging. It's so simple. So cute. So we have peony and basil. That was the first one from that line. Then I got the Hinoki Wood in Lavender. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. It's matching my makeup and my sweatshirt, so I love it. Ooh. Oh, I like this a lot more than the peony and basil. Oh, a good woodsy, like lavender. You definitely get more of that lavender scent. This definitely reminds me of like an aromatherapy kind of fragrance. Mmm, that's good. Oh, I love it. So here we go. Hinoki Wood in Lavender. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And then the last one I picked up from that line is Grapefruit in Garden Herb super interesting to put like an herby kind of scent with grapefruit so let's give it a smell oh that is good this one's definitely a lot more earthy than like the basil the peony and basil more earthy less fruity still super super good i'm really impressed with these actually and they're super pretty i'm gonna have to like take a picture of them and put them on my instagram Follow my Instagram, link in the description below. These are so pretty. I need to take a picture of those. Super gorgeous. And then I got two more, okay? We have Radiant Sky. This is like a, a lychee or lychee. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. It's like a fruity kind of fragrance. I know they have this in a candle and a wallflower. Yeah, super good. Super good fruity fragrance. They should have made this in body care. Like, I would love to see this in some body care, even some mini body care. Love it. A good fruity fragrance. And then last but not least, I finally got my hands on something from the Coco Paradise line. I still haven't smelled it. I haven't smelled it in the body care. This is my first time smelling it. So let's give it a smell. I'm getting Oahu Coconut Sunset vibes. Ooh, I'm going to need that full size body care. I'm going to need that body care. The next time they have like a body care sale, I'm getting this whole set. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, this is definitely giving me like a Wahoo Coconut Sunset. We had that in this collection when the packaging was like this. I don't know how long ago that was, but that's we had that Oahu Coconut Sunset and that was like a um, an online exclusive, I think. But yeah, this is giving me a Wahoo Coconut Sunset vibes. Okay, that was the last pocket pack I got. I haven't participated in the five for eight in a while, but I thought, why not? The new pocket packs intrigued me. Now we have some freebies of the two other new tropical scents. I would love to get my hands on the Jungle Rain scent because it sounds amazing. But unfortunately, I just don't order online. I don't like paying shipping. I'm hoping it'll pop up in stores sometime soon or sometimes the outlet has the online exclusives. Like they had this vanilla coconut or coconut vanilla or whatever, which was a tropical online exclusive last year or the year before that. So I'm hoping that my local outlet at some point gets it before they shut down. But I had a free mailer coupon and a free reward. I'm going to end up getting this whole line in full sizes. So I don't mind getting this one in a small one. But I haven't smelled either of them yet. The first one I'm going to smell I'm the most intrigued by is Watermelon Mojito. I'll throw up the scent notes on the screen. I'm pretty sure I'm, I don't drink. So I don't know what a mojito is supposed to smell like. Hey Siri, what is a mojito? Okay, so I did a little Googling and apparently a mojito is a traditional Cuban punch. The cocktail often consists of five ingredients, white rum, sugar, lime juice, soda water, and mint. So it's supposed to be like a watermelon minty kind of scent, I'm assuming. That's what the fragrances are. The fragrance notes, I have not smelled this at all. You got a fresh spray. Ooh! I was kind of expecting it to smell like watermelon lemonade, but this is different. It's definitely, it's fruity. It's a fruity scent. I don't know what a mojito is supposed to smell like, but it's definitely a fruity fragrance. Yeah, it's definitely a fruity fragrance with a little hint of something extra, which could be another note in here that I'm missing, like, and I don't have the notes to be like, oh yeah, that's what it is. So I could be missing it. 
but this is good i think i would like it in a full size body care in the spray i can get to focus but i don't know if i'm going to need it in like the full line like the shower gel and all that i mean if it's 75 percent off i'll get it at some point but like do i need to run to the store right now and get the full sizes no but here's the packaging if i didn't show it it's got a cutie little flamingo on it super cute i'll go out of five i'm gonna rate this a four a 4.2 we'll call it a 4.2 and then pink pineapple sunrise is like a 4.5 love that scent last but not least we have the most beautiful packaging ever of golden mango lagoon this is a new scent unless it's a secret repackage but to my knowledge this is a new scent this has notes of sunny mango saltwater woods and coral blooms and it says escape to a sun splashed lagoon and wade in sparkling waters your island resort awaits i love it also the green nozzle is everything love that okay for spray oh yeah oh that's good that's good i was hoping it wasn't like too similar to mango mai tai i'm getting a little bit of a mango mai tai vibe but it's something different i'm getting a little bit of like a salt water like fresh kind of note like a mango version of salt water breeze kind of but like more way fruity like like 90 percent fruity and like 10 percent like fresh water so good maybe it's the coral blooms of the little fresh water and the saltwater woods mm, okay i love this five out of five this is a five out of five I, I haven't worn them so i don't know the longevity of this yet five out of five okay i have managed to ramble on for way over 15 minutes so if you made it to the end of the video thank you let me know what your scent of the day is i was wearing gingham love earlier i don't have it on me but that is my scent of the day so let me know in the comments below what your scent of the day is Okay, well, that is all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed my Bath & Body Works outlet and collective haul, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite item was from my haul and let me know your thoughts on this new tropical collection. And if you like seeing my face, Disney, or Bath & Body Works content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free. You help me so, so much. And you guys can always change your mind later. Thanks again, you guys, for watching today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!